first met Jimmy White, or saw Jimmy White, when I was at Ronnie Gross's snooker centre playing in a junior competition. And all of a sudden, a young man walked in with a broken leg and uh, started knocking balls around with a walking stick. He was obviously a character and everybody knew his name and I'd heard about the, the player. Um, I didn't see much of the shots because I was involved in the tournament. But all of a sudden uh, he became, well, the most popular player probably the game's ever seen. Uh, a credit to snooker, um, for my money, uh, the, the best personality we've ever had in the game uh, as far as the pub, general public are concerned. And I think, I think everybody likes about him. Uh, is actually his humility, win or lose, um, and why possibly in many ways he was more the people's champion than, than Alex Higgins, who sort of was self-proclaimed in some respects. Did you enjoy uh, playing against him? I love playing Jimmy White, um, apart from the fact that it sort of effectively made the crowd decide um, what, who they had to support, who they had to follow. Uh, it was the difference, I think. You know, I came from a sort of background of watching Ray Reardon play as a player, and um, studying his game and, and sort of trying to pick up on why Ray Reardon was, was the number one player. Jimmy, sort of, you know, his hero was Alex Higgins, a, a totally different style of player, coming and attacking the game in a different way. Uh, and of course, it's always more than, than one way to skin a, skin a snooker table. And so it was, it was great watching the difference. I probably had the, the better of most of the matches we played against Jimmy, but that's not to say that, you know, looking back on it, it was ever a case of that. Um, uh, I think it was just the fact that you sort of enjoy playing against another great player. And the margins are so small anyway. What what makes one player better than another? You know, we're talking fractions. We're all so so sort of capable. Um, where does he rate in the all-time list? Think? It's difficult to rate Jimmy in the all-time great list because it depends on what criteria you're using. Um, uh, and of course, the Jimmy White we see today is probably a more professional. Uh, sort of animal than, than the one that was when he was back in his 20s. So if Jimmy White had had the, the sort of the mental outlook he's got now back in the 20s, he'd have won, he'd have won the World Championship, he'd have won more tournaments. But that's not for everybody. No, no, not everybody can be sort of old head on young shoulders like probably I was. Uh, and not everybody wants to be like that either. So you know, perhaps Jimmy paid the price in one respect, but in another way he probably enjoyed himself much more than I did in, in, the, in yeah. the 80s. I was just sort of like a, trying to be sort of with blinkers on all the time. Jimmy probably had a few parties. Oh. When it comes down to it, when you're 80 years old, does it matter? He probably enjoyed himself much more than me. Uh, final question, to sort of sum Jimmy White up, what do you think? Well, I think to sum Jimmy White up, it's something that I, I sometimes say after dinner speaking, is that um, you know, they say snooker's not a real sport and football's a sport and snooker's not. Well, you get somebody like Didier Drogba deliberately falling over his own foot in the penalty area and claiming a penalty, deliberately cheating and uh, the, the, the crowd think he's a hero. Jimmy White would inadvertently touch the tip of the cue ball onto the cue ball and nobody else, even the referee, would have seen it happen. And Jimmy would own up to the foul. And over the years, people think snooker's a misspent youth. But if ever there was a, a genuine sportsman that this country has produced who won and lost with the same humility, it's Jimmy White. They had a bit of a, a do for us at the Kingston Snooker Center and um, found out that he was a very nice young man and uh, pretty honorable too. I remember one time in the Benson Hedges, that was the, probably the place I had my most success at and uh, you know, playing in, uh, in front of the London crowd, Jimmy's crowd. I think I was ahead eight to six or something like that and uh, I was 47 in front, missed a real easy shot. I thought I was in trouble. And Jimmy went up to the table, and it looked like it was going to be 8-7, uh, and um, he, uh, he feathered the uh, cue ball and, you know, and called a foul on himself. Now, I'm telling you something, that doesn't happen anymore. Well, I, or, or maybe people just don't foul anymore, but you don't see it. You don't see people calling fouls on themselves like that. And, uh, and to me, that's about as honorable as it gets, because snooker is like golf, you know, call your own fouls, etc. And... Uh, I've always liked him. He's, he's got a wicked sense of humor, and, and I consider him uh, you know, a very cherished uh, friend, and uh, good luck to you, Jimmy. And, and final question, how do you rank him in the all-time list? 
Well, the obvious, the best of anybody who's never won the world championships, he should have won it. I mean, they talk about the six finals. He he lost that one semi to Alex and lost another semi that he should have won as well. So really, I mean, you know, he should have. Uh, you know, it's hard to say. I, you know, his record's second to none outside of the world championships. If you want to, you know, even though he's never won the world championship, he's, you know, he's still got a, a you know a better record in the world championship than most players who have ever played with, with the exception of maybe uh, Reardon and Davis and Hendry. So, yeah, he's uh, he's right up there. I I don't like to put numbers to things, you know, but uh, he's the player that I enjoyed playing the most. So, uh, that's got to mean something, you know, especially when it's coming from me. Uh, any thoughts about Jimmy? Anything like uh, apart from he's a diamond and one of my best friends and one of the best players. More importantly, he's one of the most sporting players and uh, we all hope he's going to get back next year and uh, get him out to the big boys. Thanks for okay. me.